Hi, ladies and gentlemen. I've had to narrow down the uh, size of the image. I actually want to test it out. A little while ago, I actually tried giving a review, my, my method of giving a review, for Ratchet here, which I bought used. I like him. He's a good-looking character, good-looking tune. Now, if, you, if you'd like me to try to do a review, I mean, I'll definitely try my best to give a review based on uh, the character itself. I'd appreciate an email. Uh, excuse me, not an email, a comment, I should say. I'm going to post this video up there. What I'm actually going to do, I tried recording earlier as to how to transform into the robot mode. Um, unfortunately, the microphone on the webcam was not that great, so I had to grab my old Skype mic, plug it in, and use that as a bypass. So, what I'm going to do instead is demonstrate how to transform him back into from robot mode to vehicle mode. Okay. So right now, and I'm having a little hard time seeing this myself. Um, right now we have him with his axe out. And I'll show you how to retract the axe for those who haven't seen how to do it. And I'll tell you a little bit of information on this tune. This tune is a very nice looking tune. I mean, I've seen the uh, Rescue Ratchet at Walmart. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I have traveled to 40, I mean 30 Walmarts out of an obsession to start a collection. I pretty much almost have every, every single one of them from the movie, the 2007 movie. The only one I'm missing, which has already been mailed to me from some gentleman I bought it off of eBay for $15. Uh, is Bone Crusher. The, the wonderful small Bone Crusher, but it is color accurate to that of the movie. Don't ask me why the uh, designers decided to be like that. I mean, the Hasbro or whoever designed it to be like that. I don't know. To me, I, don't, I didn't like the fact that they did that. But one plus thing is if you are going to do what I am going to do eventually, which is make a stop-motion animation. I'll be very honest with you. Ratchet is Ratchet, Ironhide, Optimus, and a few others are very, very plausible. And believe it or not, even Bumblebee and Barricade a little bit. They're very plausible. It's amazingly interesting how plausible they are. As an example, why is these legs split out? Let me move the mic down a little bit. You can see his legs move out a little bit down there. They already moved to the corner somewhere. But he looks very cool. Alright, going back up. Alright, sorry about the blur there. He is very poseable. That's one thing I actually enjoy about this creature. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in reverse. This is what I did. I'm going to close his head. Pull this out, outwards. Exposing the yellow spine, per se. Moving this back here. Moving the windows. I'm not even noticing the camera. I have to look at the camera while I'm doing this. Moving the uh, windows back into place here. Which is a very nice little feature. And did I tell you about this used? <laughs> to move his legs, his wheel base in the front inward. You hear that click? That's the indicator that they have clicked in. Okay. Going to move this here. What I'll actually do is I'll turn the legs around. Turn the legs around, get them together. Move the feet, move the feet upwards. Okay. Move the feet upwards. And they'll begin to lock him into position. 
So step two is getting him into position. And the doors are almost ready to go in. When you have them in this position, you want to make sure that the arms are going inward. Because they actually have like an elbow, elbow and down into itself. side also. I'm just about almost done here. So as you may see, I'm actually what I'm actually doing is I'm locking these in here first. So I need to lock them in. Slipper little bullet. Got him into place. Now that I've got him into place, now that all the doors are locked in and his elbows are properly positioned, I will move the arms inward. And sometimes you have to actually, sometimes you actually have to hug it in a little bit to get them to, to fit everything properly. Sometimes you can squeeze a few things in here. And in case you were wondering where this was, this is all over here in the back. I just had it stored here. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how I transformed from robot mode to uh, vehicle mode. If you wish to see more of my uh, Transformers and more of my reviews, and I'm sure there's a hundred, there's a lot of other people, I mean, Abdelonymous is one off the top of my head because I've seen a lot of his reviews. He always breaks it up into three portions. He does a good job of doing it. Um, but if you'd like um, to see some of my reviews, of what I think, you know, my different opinions of some of the tunes I have, you know. Most likely when the new movie comes out, Revenge of the Fallen, I'll probably also buy, buy those collectible items, you know. Who knows if I want to decide to sell them one day or just keep them around for my children, who knows. Okay, in the meantime, this is the head of the Federation Supergroup, a former City of Heroes Freedom um, group. Um, saying goodbye and may the all spark be with you. Right, take care.